Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs using majority of Dollar Tree or other affordable items. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. In today's video I'm sharing with you just a few ideas for your coffee bar now I have a really small coffee bar like station area so I wanted to throw out just a few ideas to decorate your area if you have not much going on because I know that I don't so these are just four quick and easy projects for you to get crafting if you just have some extra time and you just want to spice up or just liven up your coffee bar area and I really love how they all turned out so I hope you guys do too if you do enjoy the video make sure you give me a big thumbs up as it definitely helps out with my channel's growth if you're new love what you see but also love all things home decor DIY on a budget I would also appreciate if you consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload and remember to leave me a comment below just to say hello this video is also in partnership with Javi coffee they recently sent me their product to try and man it is tasty more on that in a bit so let's go ahead and jump into the video so starting off i'm going to take this kissing booth sign that i picked up from dollar tree as well as some wood letters that i got from amazon and some black paint and my truffle uh, chalk paint from waverly so what i do is i take a piece of painter's tape and i put down my wood letters so they stick on there this makes it so easy to paint these letters and they're not moving and I did two coats of these letters so if you ever have a need for a new hack here is one for you and then once those letters are drying I'm gonna take this sign from the Dollar Tree and remove the um, string from it now I think this is such a cute sign I love that the middle part of this uh, just spins around it's adorable but I'm just gonna change it up I actually bought a few of these signs and I gave the face of my sign two coat paints of my truffle chalk paint in the middle part I did black and I just used acrylic paint for that then I took my wood letters and just am adhering them to the middle turning part and I just used my super glue gel that I got from the Dollar Tree um, then I went to my Cricut and cut out the phrase coffee bar um, make it your own but I didn't have enough room for the make it your own and honestly it was enough because I have the 24 open 24 hours on the middle turning part of the sign so I didn't really need it so I tried to finagle trying to put it all on there but it was just too much anyways and then I also um, cut out some like coffee bean images from my Cricut so yeah I thought it would be really fun to do that just to give it a little bit more character a little bit more fun on the sign and I absolutely love this font uh, if I remember I will put the font down in my description box below I believe I saved this project so yeah <laughs> then um, once I adhered everything using my transfer tape my transfer tape comes from expressions vinyl the link to that is in my description box below and then I just used some jute cord and fished it through the holes that were there and tied it off on the front and no I did not cover the back of the sign with brown craft paper I was just kind of going but you can totally do that to get a finished look and that is it for this sign i think it's adorable it was super super easy to create and literally took me five minutes next up we're taking this easel chalkboard sign from the dollar tree and then just one square doll rod that i got from hobby lobby um i've I have a ton of these so if you like framing your signs like me just go ahead and buy a bunch of them Hobby Lobby sells them for I think the quarter um, inch sizes only cost maybe like a dollar fifteen or dollar twenty five I can't really remember but it's not expensive at all so what I did is just measured out where I needed to cut it and use my miter saw to cut down um, the pieces that I needed and then I'm using my sanding block from the Dollar Tree to sand down the edge to get a smooth finish then I am taking this dark walnut stain from Minwax I have been loving this color lately and it's like almost on everything that I make now <laughs> and I just used a foam brush and painted or stained the um the side well the the, the the dowel rods that I just 
cut <laughs> to make a frame and then I used a paper towel to wipe off the excess so I can get that nice uh, pretty stained dark look I really love the color combination of this dark walnut and then the black all I did was use my hot glue gun to adhere this right down onto the chalkboard I didn't change the chalkboard at all um, you can totally like write down whatever phrases you want with some chalk just make sure you you know prime your chalkboard first but I just went to my Cricut and cut out a image of a coffee mug and then that says but crafting first on the inside and varnish that over and that's it for this one super easy literally another five minute or less project and I think it's just adorable it's so easy So now we're going to talk about Javi Coffee. Now they sent me over this coffee concentrate that they have and they have several different flavors. It's so easy to use you guys. So it's just three steps. All you do is fill your cup up or your mug up with water or milk and then you pour a teaspoon of the coffee concentrate in there and mix it up. It's so convenient. It takes the steps out of going to Starbucks or Dunkin, even though we all love to do that. But if you run out of coffee at home or if you just don't have those extra coins to get the Starbucks or the Dunkin Donuts, this is going to be a great way to get your morning cup of joe and all i did is just put some water in my coffee mug put two teaspoons of the coffee concentrate in here from javi coffee and mix that up i put my coffee mug in the microwave to heat it up i know you're not supposed to do that but i didn't have time to <laughs> heat up any water you could just put hot water from the sink if you want and just enjoyed my cup of coffee I absolutely need a cup of coffee before I start my day usually while I'm working out in the morning or right after but I definitely need it and it tastes so good like I said they have four different flavors that you can choose from and I absolutely love their ingredients I always pay attention to the ingredients on my items and these are a hundred percent roasted arabica beans I hope I said that right but it has a smooth taste to it you guys and I know you will love it as much as I do so if you're interested in it go to their website and then go down to my description box um, where the link will be and you will also find the discount code there all right dolls let's get back to the DIYs so for this next one I took a piece of burlap fabric that I've had for a long time and I'm just using my um, uh, my fabric cutter to just cut down a piece of uh, like a rectangle I didn't like measure this out at all I just kind of eyeballed everything and then all I'm going to do is hot glue down the flaps so what I'm doing is making like a faux coffee bean bag then I went to my Cricut and cut out this really pretty coffee house um, image that I found and I did it on iron oil so I laid my Cricut Easy Press mat down, put a piece of paper on top of that, then put my image on top of that paper, and then another piece of paper on top of that, and then use a small um, heat press that I have, and just went, um, I kept it on there for probably about 30 seconds. Um, and yeah, that was it. And then I just pulled it up, and it looks so, so good. And then I'm going to hot glue it down so I can close this up, and use that heat press also to iron down the sides. So that I can get it to um, fold over then I just took some polyfill and stuffed it into my bag and I probably should have did the bottom a little bit less um, it's it's kind of stiff a little bit so what I tried to do was hot glue down the um, corners of it so it didn't look so stiff um, but you'll see that in a second and then I just took some of this jute cord that I already have on hand and just tied that around the top to close that off and just kind of let it hang and cut down the excess if it was too long um, but here's what I'm saying I just tried to uh, fold over the the uh, corners but that's it super cute the longest that it took was me to weed out uh, this uh, image from my Cricut but super easy you guys I really love this 
Next up, I'm taking a wood crate from the Dollar Tree in this coffee latte brown color from Folk Art that I picked up from Walmart. And all I did was give, give my crate, I think I just gave it one coat and I maybe just have like spot painted around um, if it was too light. And this is what it looks like once I'm done. And then I took my finger sander and just highlighted all of the corners and the edges to this uh, crate. I'm going for that faux uh, book look to this and I think it is adorable. This one I did, I chose not to cover the sides where the holes were um, because I just didn't feel like it needed it. Honestly, I just didn't want to do the extra step. If you want to do the extra step so it looks more like a faux book look, then go ahead and do that. But like I said, I just went in all of the grooves too um, just to highlight um, the side so it looked like a stack of books. And I know this uh, DIY has been out there for like a long time. I originally got inspired by Kristen K about a year and a half ago. She did one for Christmas and that's when I started doing it. Um, but once that was done, all I did was go back to my Cricut cut out the phrases cappuccino, latte, and espresso, and just varnish those over onto each faux book. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, you can use those uh, stickers or rub on transfers from Dollar Tree. It'll give the same effect and look. Then from Dollar Tree in the crafter square section, I'm using this Baker's Twine that's like this brown and like white. Um, I thought it would go really well with the color scheme of this and I just wrapped it around a couple times and then just hot glued it on the inside. And then I just put some greenery on the top of it. I also made a little bit, a little bow, like a simple bow and just hot glued that right on top. And that is it for this one. I think it's so cute. I think it brings everything together. Like I said, super quick and easy. Idea wise for your coffee bar station area if you just want to liven up this space just get some decor items in there i think these are perfect for that that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to go down to my description box to get your discount code for Javi Coffee. All right, dolls, be blessed, stay safe, and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.